cold uh, mid-November day. Uh, it's actually sunny. There's a chance there's still mushrooms out here, even though there's frost on the ground. I mean, you can see it's it's frosty. We're gonna go have a look. Uh, hopefully, I can give you guys some more uh, tips. Uh, we're gonna look for chanterelles. So this is one of my favorite mushroom spots here. It was really productive last year uh, until they logged it. Uh, as you can see, it's just been absolutely decimated, uh, like a lot of other spots. So this area that we're in, uh, there's actually a lot of caves and sinkholes. I just discovered this last year. Super cool place. So just uh, about a minute off the road here, uh, my friend here has found uh, the first John Trails. Uh, they're not looking super great. Uh, this one's not bad. Uh, good start. All right. Uh, it's getting better here. Mushroom tip number one for today. Uh, when you're searching for chanterelles, ferns and moss uh, are always, always good places to look. They like to hide uh, under the moss. And look how camouflaged that is. A little Smurf village growing here. All right, so I'm just sitting here on the forest floor. I uh, saw some nice moss. I uh, thought there could be pines. I uh, started digging around and uh, didn't find a pine, but look what I... Chantrell. All right, so we stumbled across a colony of turkey tail. Uh, pretty common here in the Pacific Northwest. Wow, these mushrooms have amazing health benefits. Mushroom forging tip number two. Uh, when you're walking these types of uh, coniferous forest, everything's rotten. Uh, so be very careful where you put your feet. Um, one false step uh, could lead to a broken ankle uh, and a whole lot of trouble. So I've noticed here the area that we've uh, just transitioned to uh, is very bouldery. Uh, probably not the best mushroom habitat. Uh, mushroom tip number three. Uh, this one might sound like a no-brainer, but uh, when you're working with a partner, uh, never walk uh, beside each other. I mean, stay within your shot, stay within visual, uh, but cover more ground, spread out. Uh, you're gonna do a lot better like that. This is just some absolutely bizarre terrain. Uh, it's just boulders everywhere. So I'm a little disappointed. Uh, last year, I actually found the spot at the very end of the season. Uh, me and my friend picked about 40 pounds out of here in like two hours. Uh, it had not been touched. I don't think anybody knew about it. Uh, it's been logged. So it's important to note that there is a, a clear correlation between logging uh, in the forest floor environment. Hello! Oh, wow. You can actually hear the water running down there. Pro mushroom tip. Don't fall in cave holes. Reminds me of being a kid as a hole. You gotta throw a rock in it. All right, let's listen, see if it makes a sound. So spot number one is, is totally a bust. Uh, we found a few mushrooms. I can't believe uh, for mid-November how dry it is in here. Found this strange uh, dwelling here on the side of the road. Hello, housekeeping. So what we found here is uh, clearly a mushroom camp of some sort. Pretty typical of Vancouver Island this time of year. Uh, they usually have long hair, uh, a little stinky, and drive cars that are covered in dust uh, and live in tents in the forest. And they eat baked beans. We just seen some random people uh, picking. Branches, boughs, boughs, it's the gold boughs, yeah, boughs on the side of the road. Uh, must be Christmas soon. The sun's just crest the top of that hill, uh, it's going down, it's going down fast, it's gonna get cold. Uh, we're gonna call it a day, uh, get back out on the hunt tomorrow.
So we've just arrived at Labor Day Lake. Uh, the road up here is pretty icy. Uh, I have a feeling within a week uh, the road will probably be impassable. The lake is like glass. Charles uh, just spotted a couple of mushrooms. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is. This is really odd too. It's definitely some sort of fungus, but it almost has the look of a mushroom. Another one here. All right, so here we have uh, an example of lion's mane. Now uh, my buddy here just found it. Uh, it's growing right here uh, on this fallen log. If you had to eat a part of your body because you're starving, where would you start? <laughs> so here we have another lion's mane. Uh, at least I think it is. It's way well past its prime. Uh, it's actually frozen. <laughs> It's an interesting find. Uh, this mushroom was growing on a tree, like three feet away from the lake. I think you're nice, don't This mushroom's frozen. Aerosmith uh, found a lake that I never even knew existed. Charles here told me about the lake. I didn't believe him. All right, so we tried to go down to St. Mary's Lake. Oh, we got pretty stuck there actually. It took us about half an hour to get out. Uh, that was pretty wild. The road is fine, and then all of a sudden it's turned into a sheet of ice, so now I'm back in, so I'm off the ditch. Thanks. It wasn't fun, man. No? Well, I didn't have to do nothing, I just sat on top of it.